We are the Pruitts, and in 2019, we decided to leave the comfortable life we have grown to know and set sail for a once-in-a-lifetime family adventure to experience the unknown together. We hope to learn about ourselves and new cultures. We hope to find faraway places that we've always dreamt of and to give back to the communities that welcome us. We hope to make memories that will last a lifetime and grow closer together as a family in the process. Join our family, Hudson, Denver, Susan, and Clay, as we travel together and share our tales from a passport. Then we went kayaking again. Again. <laughs> and we upped it this time. We did. The boys kind of informed me that they thought they were ready, so I talked to the guide and I said, hey, we want to take it to the next level. I, and, and I think it, it pushed us awesome. a, a little bit out of our comfort zone. Too. Well, like, this I loved is, it. That's well, my comfort zone. <laughs> but but it, was, it was definitely more difficult kayaking oh, yeah. than I've ever done. A lot of running water, a lot of uh, of a lot, lot of rapids. rocks that we were yeah. we were dodging in between. But Mike was our guide, and again, these guys they know these these the waters like the back of their hands. So I mean, they give you plenty of heads up. They tell you exactly yeah. what's coming up, so you know what to expect. Okay, so the next rapid is the one. If you don't have enough speed, it will suck you back. Yeah. If you get sucked back, just make yourself big and try to float back up. Eventually, we'll spit you out and you will be fine. Yeah? If you are too far left, if you swim, be careful. There's a really big, nasty rock. Good job, Dave. Okay. Good job, Mama. And it takes, uh, it takes a lot of the, the fear out, especially if you can just control your kayak enough or control whatever it is, enough just to follow him and do exactly what he does. And uh, the guy's been doing it for, for years. Good job, dude. That was awesome. In the it end. Was in the end. <laughs> in the end. Her face, I mean, you could see it. Like she was having a great time. And the boys, they started off kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. By the end, they were asking to go again. They're like, I it's mean, over? What do you mean it's <laughs> over? We can't go anymore. Good job, Mama. What's that? I mean, at the end, we had a four meter drop. I want to push you down. Okay. The other thing you have to make sure is to keep your paddle above your head. Okay. Yeah. Lean back into your boat. Lean when back into my boat? Yeah, the first hit, just stay back. And the second hit, you go back forward. Then you hit the flat water again. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> We finished Slovenia off with a little bit of rock climbing. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> start off with a very, very easy grade. Their names were uh, Matt and Matisse, and um, they were both they were both great. Uh, they, we had a two or three different routes that we worked on. I stayed with the easiest route, which uh, was probably about a five, seven. Yeah. All right, I just made my first sale on my ankle, and uh, a little touchy, but we made it. This is the view. Right down there's where we came from. Awesome. That was fun. My oldest son, Denver, he was running one that was about a 6A plus, I think, which is around a 510. It was good getting on the rocks. It was good climbing and uh, it's good testing out my leg to see what it could do. Um, Hudson got to climb, my youngest son, and uh, he was just bouncing up this thing. We set out there, we climbed for probably uh, two or three hours. Um, we had weather come in, so we had to cut it short. It's just coming up to the top again. Started to rain, but man, it's pretty. Slovenia, to me, we have absolutely loved being here. I've loved the beauty, I've loved the raw nature, I've loved the adventure. So we are looking forward to coming back and getting to visit again.